I'm glad you're back. I'm Jeff Burr with the Tattooed Spirit. Moving on to the next wand, our next fiery nine. Nines with the wands represent the compromises and struggles involved with the quality of that suit. That suit is wands, right? Look at this character. Look really, really close at him. If the quality of the wand is activities and doings, the compromises and the struggles with that activity of doing is that of just being battle-worn, just like this character, of just after the fight, after all the activity, after the activities have come to an end, that's all you still see is the fight. That's all you still see is the activities of doing. You can't ever let it go. Okay? We have this wonderful buildup of all of these stages of wands. Okay? This instruction on how to go about your activities with joy and celebration and bringing them into the actions of your life. Knowing that you actually have to get up off your ass and do stuff with the intentions and motivations that you're given. Having those activities come to an end, now you have to let them go. This is the sign, it's the inherent struggle with wands, the activity doers, to just let the activity, especially whenever it's done, go. This is the inherent struggle with the wands. That's what the nine represents in this particular suit. If you want good inspiration and also to stay within this theme of numerology and the numbers, the best guidance that you could be given is with this master nine that we already talked about. Imagine if this character, if this battle-worn character, all he sees is the battle that he can't let go of, if he just took the time to do this, this contemplate card, to become the hermit, okay, and to just sort of understand what he already went through, digest, and do what this hermit did. Remember also what we learned with this hermit. Also, after the period of activity has done, you get the chance to reflect of those things that didn't serve you in that activity. This is the influence that guides over all of your actions. At that stage of the Nine of Wands, whenever you say, okay, this is done. Okay, it has come to an end. It's time to reflect, to contemplate, to be the hermit on what I have accomplished, right? About what I had set out to accomplish, with, you know, represented by this card. And then you see all those things that did not serve you in that activity, in that relationship, to stick with this theme of relationship in the wands, you know? Well, the next time I see that coming, I'll know better, okay? This is a wonderful influence on how to get past this stage of being kind of locked up, kind of closed off your heart. Look at the real imagery of this card, how he's closing off his heart. This has other implications as far as, you know, letting go of any particular pursuit or intention that you had wished to accomplish in your life. This also, again, we'll stick with the theme of romance, being closed off. This represents that person who says, I'm not going to try another relationship because, well, I was hurt once really bad, and you don't really understand how bad that it hurts, so I'm just going to close off. And they stay in this particular stage just way too long that it doesn't serve them anymore. They could easily understand why that relationship didn't work or the lessons to be learned from that particular relationship if they would have taken the influence that was probably shouting at them to look at those things that didn't serve you in that particular relationship so you can open up your heart again to somebody else or open up your uh, belief that you can accomplish something else to try a new career, to go through a new avenue of life, a new way of doing something because we're dealing with the wants. Okay. If it comes in reversed, if it shows reversed, that probably could indicate to you that you're just overwhelmed at whatever activity that was, that you are completely burned out, that all those wands have just sort of just completely, you know, have not, you know, they don't stand up anymore. There's nothing really holding you back from moving on. You can see this character's free to move, but here... It's just, it becomes just a mangled mess of not being able to learn from your past whatever you were trying to accomplish at that particular stage, depending on whatever you're inquiring about in the reading. I hope that makes sense. This is the compromise and struggle of just being a wand, 
of just being the nature of doing, of being wrapped up in all the doings and activities of wherever you are trying to go in your life and not being able to let go of it. Remember this card whenever you find yourself not being able to let go of a relationship, not being able to let go of whatever kind of quote-unquote failure you want to label as failure. Understand that there are things to be learned from it. There are things to understand like this. There are things to understand from why that didn't work out the way your ego had hoped, knowing that your spirit, that your soul, always gets what it needs you have to take forward with new activities to take that into your next series of events okay spiritual tarot you can see how these cards interact you can see how this gives you direct love to move on if you're feeling locked if you're feeling completely overwhelmed it's different you can look in different places but this will now speak to you to understand it's time to just Rest on some accomplishments of whatever that was. You can let go of the fight. You can let go of the battle and move on. What a wonderful compliment these two cards are. These two nines, they work out great. This is the lockup. This is the suggestion to help getting freed, okay? I'll see you next for the 10. We're going to stop at the tens of all of these pip cards and, uh, and before we move into all the court cards separately. But I'm really excited. This is just the abundance of that which is the suit. Next. You're going to love this card. It's tens, one of my favorites of all time. I'll see you in a second.